All right, and we're also talking about summer camps this morning. They're operating just a little bit differently due to this pandemic, of course. And yeah, KCTV 5 Savannah Rudisell taking a look at how kids can still get out of the house this summer. Kelly, is your kid getting out of the house? Any camps in store? Uh, very minimal, minimal amount. Uh, yeah. The camp that we normally use is not open yet. So Savannah, how are these organizers you talk to keeping kids safe? Yeah, Kelly and Joe, a lot of the, what's going on here at the Boys and Girls Club is a pretty similar precautions what we're seeing like at the grocery store or at the doctor's office before anybody comes in staff visitors campers everybody gets their temperature taken just ever before they walk in the door all staff members wear masks and kids are encouraged to do the same but all that protective gear is going to be provided by parents at their discretion i had the chance to visit the atomic blast camp here yesterday and uh, it's a stem based learning camp so the kids were sitting at desks everything was six feet apart as they were walking through hallways also encouraged to stay uh, six feet apart from each other but leaving that much space does mean that they have to cut down on the amount of kids that they can come in. Normally, uh, the Boys and Girls Club will have about 1,200 campers. This year, only around 400. I talked with the president of the organization, and he tells me it's really difficult to not be able to host everybody. We want to serve as many kids as we want, but here's where I stand on it. I think uh, a third of the kids that we typically serve is better than zero of the kids coming through the club, the, the club doors. So. And for those who can't get in through the cup doors this year, uh, all throughout this summer, Boys and Girls Club of Greater Kansas City is going to continue providing their hot meal services and any online learning and leadership activities. Coming up in the next half hour, we're going to talk about how camp counselors are trying to provide emotional support all through 2020. Reporting live in Kansas City, Savannah Rudisell, KCTV 5 News. Thanks, Savannah. That was good information.